Eduardo Garcia isn't just known for his innovative cooking, he's also an inspiration to many for overcoming a devastating accident that cost him his hand. And the man who some call the bionic chef is here today to share his story and cook us up one of his favorite dishes. So welcome in. Hey, thank you. You got here real good early morning. today. Good yeah. Yeah. Okay, I like early. Good, hey, morning. good morning. Tell us your story first. Well, um, I'm from Montana. I've been cooking since I was 15. Um, I worked in the yachting industry for 11 years, and in a freak uh, outdoor hiking injury, hmm. I was electrocuted with 2,400 volts and lost my left hand, 21 surgeries, 48 days in ICU. Um, just thankful and grateful to be alive and able to do what I do. How old were you when the accident happened? I'm 30. You were 30. Um, and then were you a chef before, or did you become a chef after the accident? I've, well, I've been cooking since I was 15, and I've been chefing professionally since I was 19, 20. Oh, really? Wow. Well, this is great. Well, thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. Can you I mean, I hate to, uh, I, uh, how do you, what, what, tell us, does this allow you to do, obviously it allows you to do everything you need to do. What special challenges does it pose, though, in the kitchen? You know, if I talk nicely to it, it usually does what I want it to, <laughs> like anything, right? Yeah. But uh, more than it, you know, in the kitchen, these are red hot right now. So it's got its ups and downs. See, yeah. as I, me the pot holder for the other hand. Yeah. You know, but, but I do, I work slower, I'm humbler, I ask for help when I need it, oh, you know? That's great. That's a great lesson. Okay, so what are we uh, cooking up today? Yeah. Okay, so it smells let's get good. down yeah, to so, cooking. Well, let's, let's get it going. So it's, it's almost summer. People are going to be out grilling. So I've got two hot cast irons. You Very know, hot. I own a food company, <laughs> Montana Mex, and one of our favorite things is just cooking naturally. So no chemical preservatives in our food. Hmm. So we're going to start... We're gonna start with a steak. Do you know that right now, I went to the grocery store yesterday and they sold out of tenderloin, Mother's Day, just wiped them wow. out. So anyway, I went with these hanger steaks. Okay. So we're just gonna get those going, a little olive oil. Yeah, they're already out. seasoned in your special mix. They do, so I've got the Montana Mex red chile salt and I've got a little bit of our Montana Mex sweet salt on it. How okay. long did you put them in this before you put, how long do you let them marinate, I guess? You know, you can, see. minimum you should do 30 to an hour, but max, maybe there's lemon juice, you don't want to cook the meat with that lemon so juice. So you were here at six. five, so you put them in this morning? I've been doing it early. <laughs> Boy, wow, as, as soon as it's so there. Good. You smell that? You smell that. The coolest thing is you don't need an ounce or a grill, you could do this in your house. Right. Not everyone has a grill. You, you can do it with your cast irons. But you have it is iron. better outside, and this electric is like, the worst, but it gets the job done. No, they get the job done. So while those are searing, I'm going to do another pan, and I love this. For me, tomatoes, especially when they're in their peak in the summer, a little bit of olive oil, have Ooh. them, throw them right in a hot How pan. How long? Don't touch them. Be patient. You got really? that nice caramelized crust that's happening. I don't want to burn them. Well, you those do want to nice burn them. That's a beautiful burn flavor. Those really are natural. Them. Those are yeah, natural. We're adding too much sugar like burnt to tomato. We're not adding too much sugar to our food. So the natural sugars from the tomatoes are going to come out and develop. You got to let them really sit. Wow. Five minutes. Help them with a little um, metal spatula. Release them from the pan. Five oh. minutes. Wow. Yeah. On low? No, they're on pretty but, high but heat. But what right about now. our nutrition and vitamins? Is it, are you cooking them out of it now? Because no, it, they're super they're firm in the back there. here. They're still going right, to be there. All right, making sure. So these are doing their thing. They're happy. And then it's summer. Greens yeah. are coming out. Over here. Oh, so it's for spring anyway. For right now, I wow. wanted to keep them fresh. But we've got mosh, which is lamb's lettuce, pea vines. Nice. Can I Over taste here. this? Yeah, you, well, you should. Guys, cause I wanna, yeah, you, know, you should. And it's got a little stuff. of my jalapeno salt on there, so it's going to have just a little wake you up. And <laughs> a little arugula lettuce. So what we're going to do... Mix them all up. We're going we're gonna to mix these up. You want to get after please, it? Please, thank for you. It. And then a really... Let's wash my hands in the bathroom disclaimer. There we go. Kay. A little simple dressing. I like to squeeze my lemons through a hand strainer so I don't get yeah, seeds in. Yeah, no one wants the seeds. I used to catch them through my fingers, but I just don't get as many as I used to. Got it. It's bad. <laughs> I know. No, it's bad. Oh, well, that's good. You got a great sense of in your down-to-earth, and you know you work very great with what you have, and you're positive. Thanks. You have a great outlook on life. So. Thank and you. I love these tomatoes. How's that? <laughs> just straight tomato, a little yeah. olive oil, oregano. And you're in the, the spice. Little, yeah. The Montana Mex jalapeno. But it doesn't yeah. knock you over. How many no. spices do you flavor. have in your Montana Mex line? You know, it's like exciting. We're coming to the East Coast any week now with all of three of these. So let's do a little shallots in the salad. A little or a lot? Well, you're cold. I'd say yeah, a little. Come on, Jill. Let's not go nuts. Now, what's this? I don't even know what this no, is. No yet. oregano. We it's did that on the tomatoes. Fuzzy. No oregano in there. Oh, it smells good, though. Okay. So you're taking a little bit of your, mm. ooh. Lemon, mm. a little sweet salt seasoning, and, and hazelnut, hazelnut oil. oil. It's just going to add a little, uh, little toasted, sort of roasty flavor to our salad. Great. Hey, John, you want to flip those over before they burn? Do I need to do, do, I need to do anything here? The might be burning. Do you want me to flip these? <laughs> yeah, give them a flip. 
There, there you go. go. Nice they work. look You've perfect. Done this yeah. And so the thing with this with this setup, and I like to use a board. Keep it okay. fun. Leave the china in the cabinet. All right. That's easier for us. Oh, now, is this time to dress this go on? Ahead. Go ahead. Dress like the salad. I'm just going to slice our steak. Hey, by the way, um, I, I don't know, Greg, if you can get a shot of this. I love this little deal. What do you think about that, huh? Who is, who, where did, I, I can't believe. Here, it's up here, Greg, right there. You know, right when here. I worked in yachting, a buddy's mom gave that to me. That's a good And it's a fantastic <laughs> Sure is. I mean, it does the trick. It's yeah. like an upholsterer. Cool. Yeah. No, it's lovely. All right, so now hey, I'm going to mix this up. Would you cut one of these for me, too? You Absolutely. did such a good job yeah, with the first one. And you know what, John? You cut up your tomato. You ate your tomato without even offering us. Well, you're over there making a salad. I didn't want to. I thought I'll try the salad first, if you don't mind. You have them or quarter them? As you did. Yeah, you, you did it perfect. I don't want to mess with what That's you did good. that first time. So Ooh. here's our board. So we got our steaks laid out. What would we consider that? Is that like a medium, medium rare? I think um, it's a good medium rare. All right, all right. And so we're going to do sort of a couple just nice little bouquets of salad. Okay. We're going to go in here. Now, is it bad that we don't have forks and knives so we can eat this properly? Uh, gosh, I mean, we don't. We set this table. There I we don't go. know. We're missing, but I'm just going to have to use my fingers. I'm sorry. I'm going there to the There we go. Table. I like Let's it. Start. People that love food. Here we go. Wow. Oh, yeah. So, there wow. we go. That's great wow. This, this is great. Too. Well, I never thought, I don't really like lemon, but this is a great sauce with the... It's not bad, right? It's just, it's going to be fresh. Oil. It's going to be fresh. It's going to be great for you. And that's, it's quick and simple. That's what we like. Look at this, Especially still going. We're going to be yeah. grilling all next weekend, right? We've got the big Memorial Day weekend coming up. This is a that's great recipe. It. There and where it is. can we get your when spices When is this coming from, to the East Coast? Well, you can go online. Yeah. MontanaMex.com. Okay. Or... Within weeks, we're coming out to the East Coast, so hopefully to be in a store near you soon. So I got to ask you, as an aspiring chef, this really is the way to go. I mean, you've got to like brand yourself and build your empire, right? Well, yeah, and you need yeah. to become a lifestyle. You know, take my top off and pinch me. Have some fun with it. Oh, you know, I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. Right, right. <laughs> All right, Chef go. Eduardo Garcia, thank you so much for joining us today and cooking with us on the couch. And don't forget, you can get you all those great recipes yeah. on our website at WLMY.com slash the couch.